How do you go about to draw an ellipse using the rectangular method? Hello everyone, welcome to PA Academy. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step how to draw an ellipse using the rectangular method. Now, if you are watching this video, I believe you know that there are different methods. There are about four you know, common methods of drawing an ellipse and one of them is the rectangular method. So I'm going to be walking you through step by step and at the end of this video, I'm very sure and I can guarantee you that you'll be able to also draw an ellipse using this same rectangular method. So before we get into this video, if you are yet to subscribe, if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, please click on the subscribe button right now to subscribe to this channel. Yeah, the red button down. So just click on it and the little bell icon. All right, thank you very much if you have just subscribed. So now let's get into this video. Now what you will need is a rectangle. Don't forget you are doing a rectangular method. So we are going to be needing a rectangle and I've gone ahead to draw the rectangle. So what is going to determine the length of this rectangle is what we call the major axis and the minor axis. What do we mean by the major axis? Now, if you look at this line I'm having from this point to this point, is the major axis, and I'm using a length of 12 centimeter. So 12 centimeter. Why don't you are having it from this point to this point is the minor axis? And for this video, I'm using 8 centimeter. So moving forward, I want you to watch, make sure you watch this video to the end because like I said earlier, at the end of this video, you are going to be able to draw an ellipse using the rectangular method. And guess what? It's very simple to do. So it's very simple. So that's what we mean by the major and the minor. So when if that is confusing, you just know that the major axis is the longer one, which is from this point to this point. That's the major axis. Why the minor is from this point? That's the smaller one, the smaller, the smaller side. So to save time, that's why I've gone ahead to draw the rectangle. So once, so I want you to also draw your own rectangle. Then you draw your minor axis, which is the middle, the center. So for for this example now, so let me call this point A, B, C, and D. Now, A, B is 12 centimeters. So the center is going to be 6 centimeters. The same thing, D, C, 6 centimeters. You join them together. From this C uh, line, C, B, is 8 centimeters so that means the middle here is 4 centimeter 4 centimeter you join it together so that's how you go about to do this so now let's note all those points also so let me call this points e then this point f g and then let me call this point h so now what we are going to do now is you bring in your ruler so on this line d um line dh let me use line dh so if you look at it we are having i'm having it to be four centimeter so you can see from this point is four centimeter so what you are going to do is you are going to divide it into four so irrespective of uh, the length that you are working with that is your major and your minor axis so just divide this part into four divide it into four then you come over here also and divide it into four equal parts what we've done here you are going to repeat the same thing here you are going to repeat the same thing here and then on this line, so let me call this G8, let me call this point O. So just follow along in all the things I'm saying. So once you have divided it, on this line, from H to O, here I'm having 6 cm. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to divide this into 4. So in dividing, that will be um, 1 point, so let me... That will be 1.5 cm apart. So let me let me label this. I'm going to be call this point 1, 2, and then point 3. Now on this part also, this line that we have divided, we are also going to label it. Let's call the first point 1, 2, 3. In the same order, we are going to have this as point 3, 2, 1. So I've divided mine. So on this part also, this will be 1, 2, 3. So here will be 1, 2, 3. So it's important to you know you name uh note those points. So you are going to do the same thing on this line OG. So I'm going to divide it into four. So because it's six centimeters, if I'm to divide it into four, that'll be one uh one point five centimeter apart. So that means here is going to be 0 0.1, 2, 3. So now the next thing we are going to do, if you have gotten to this to this stage, from point, okay, let's start with from point F. 
we are going to draw a line from point F to point 1, 2, and 3. So this is how it will look like. So from point F, straight to point 1. So we'll draw a line from point F to point 2. We'll draw a line from point F to point 3. We'll draw a line. So what we've done here, we are going to repeat the same thing from point F. To point one on this side same to point two and to point three now what we've done here we are going to repeat the same thing at the top so now from point e so you can see that there's nothing is not uh, difficult Then to point two, so from point E to point three, so then we'll do for this side also. So from point E to point three, from E to point two. me to point two so we've done this one if you are finding value in this video uh, please just give this video a thumbs up so click on the thumbs up button to give the video a thumbs up if you're already finding value uh, in how far we've gone all right so thank you very much if you have just given it a thumbs up so next thing to do now let's start with point F now from point F we are going to draw a line that will pass through this uh, point three and touch this line that is coming to point three so let me do that. So from point F, I'll draw a line that will pass through point 3 on this side. To pass through point 3 and touch the, this line. So, and touch this line like this that is coming to this 3 on this side. So the same thing from point F, I'll draw a line that will pass through point 2 and it will touch this line that is going to uh, point 2 on this side. So you are going to be having something like this. So the same thing for point one. So you are going to be having something like this. Now, uh, so that you don't get confused. So let's so just note this point where it is touching. Line coming from point three is touching this line. The line coming from point two is touching this line. Just note this point. So this line. Not this point. So, I hope you've noticed those points. So now, what we've done here, we are repeating the same thing here. So from point F, we are going to draw a line that will pass through point one and touch this line. This line that is coming from F that is coming to touching this point one here. So we are going to draw a line. So from point F to pass through this point one and straight to this line. So from point F. We'll draw a line that will pass through point two and touch this line that is coming to two on this side. So from point F again, we'll draw a line pass through point three. Now these lines I'm drawing, they are, they are going to be faint lines. They are going to be faint lines because the ellipse itself is what we are going to be making bold. So also let's note this point where it is touching line 1 where it is touching line 2 and touching line line 3 now all this line that we've just drawn from f we are going to repeat the same thing from e from point e so don't get confused so now from point e we are going to draw a line that will pass through point 1 and come and touch this particular line from f to 1 okay so from a, from point e the line will pass through point 1 and come and touch this line. This line that is coming from F to point 1. So if you can just follow it, that means from point 1 here to this line coming to point 1. So 
So you'll be having something like this. The same thing for point two. To pass through this point two and come and touch this line. This will pass through point three. So now let's note. So you note this point. This and this. So let's do that of this side. So from point E, pass through point 1 and touch this line. From E, pass through point 2 and touch 2. From E, pass through 3 and touch this. So now let's note this point here. So now if you are this if you are this junction, so if you are following along, now all these points that I've just noted, we are going to be using our French curve to join them together. So by the time we use our French curve to join them together, then we are going to be having our ellipse. So we're going to be having our ellipse of something looking like this. So let me let me introduce my French curve. So I have one side of it. So you make those uh, the ellipse board. So gradually we are having our ellipse. So now I mean for this side. So now let's join this point together. So for the last side, all right. So you can see now we already have our ellipse. So you can see it's a very simple process. So once you follow all uh, all the steps I explained in the course of this video, you are going to be having. Uh, your ellipse like this. So you expect of what your major axis or your minor axis is, is the same step. Divide this into four. Where you are to divide them into four, divide it into four equal parts. Then follow the way I drew the lines and then you'll be fine. So if you find uh, value in this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, please click on the subscribe button and when you subscribe, click on the uh, little bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you get notified when I release any video. Also let me know in the comment section if you have any question or any video request or any suggestion for me just leave them in the comment section below you can also check our playlist on technical drawing for more videos like this and i'm also going to be showing you another method of drawing an ellipse using the auxiliary circle method so that video uh, the link is going to be in the description and the video is also going to be popping up uh, somewhere here towards the end of this particular video so once you click on it to take you to that to that video so also check out our website pa academy dot co pa academy dot co and with that guys i'll see you all in the part two of this video which will be appearing here so you can click on it to uh, to watch the part two of the example tool of this video that's how to draw an ellipse using the auxiliary circle method all right thank you